हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल टारगेट 100 इन मैथमेटिक्स बाय शिवेश कुमार सिंह एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज ऑल द क्वेश्चंस फॉर योर टर्म थ्री एग्जाम एंड आई हैव डिवाइडेड दिस वीडियो इन क्वेश्चन वाइज ओके लाइक इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑल पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन फॉर क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सी दीज क्वेश्चन मे हैव डिफरेंट सीक्वेंस इन योर एग्जाम्स ओके इट इज़ नॉट नेसेसरी दैट वॉट एवर आई एम टेलिंग यू एट नंबर वन इट विल बी नंबर वन क्वेश्चन इन योर एग्जाम ऑल्सो बट येस डेफिनेटली इट विल बी इन योर एग्जाम सो लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो क्वेश्चन इज राइट अ कंजेंचर दैट डिस्क्राइब्स द पैटर्न इन ईच सीक्वेंस देन यूज योर कंजेंचर टू फाइंड द नेक्स्ट टर्म इन द सीक्वेंस सी what i have told you in my another video for the conjecture conjecture means the rule what we use to find a certain pattern okay for example this question they say 4 8 12 16 20 like that okay so 4 8 12 16 20 so what you can see here what pattern we are following difference of these two number is sorry 4 then difference of another two number is also 4 then 4 so what you can see here difference of every term difference of two terms is plus 4 so every term is increasing by 4 so next term also will increase by 4 so it will be 20 plus 4 means 24 okay so what is the conjecture here conjecture is that every term is increasing by 4 okay or whatever it is given in the exam you can decide okay like this you can find the next term similarly here 2 22 222 2222 so what you can see here in every number in every term number of digits it is increased by one means one two is increased in every term so in the next term what you will have you will have five times two so it will be two 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 three times four times five times okay means to 22222 like this you can find the next term another question can be 1 then half then 1 over 4 then 1 over 8 and so on so what what you can see here terms are in decreasing order terms are in decreasing order so what you can see here if you divide 1 by 1 over 2 then you will get the answer if you divide 1 by 2 then you will get the answer 1 over 2 yes again you divide 1 by 2 by 2 then you will get 1 over 4 again if you divide 1 over 4 by 2 then you will get 1 over 8 so what conjecture we are following here that next term can be obtained by next term is equal to previous term divided by 2 previous term divided by 2 so what will be the next term next term will be 1 over 8 divided by 2 means it will be 1 over 16 so here answer will be 1 over 16 okay now similarly here you can have see arrival time is given 3 p.m then 12 30 p.m then 10 a.m like that okay so what you can see again it is in the decreasing order means it is going down so 3 p.m to 12 30 so be careful with the calculation or subtraction or addition of the time okay so this is i will tell you how to subtract it 3 p.m and then it is coming 12 30 and you know after 12 if you take the time then it comes 13 14 15 like that yes so 13 p 3 p.m means 12 plus 3 means 15 p.m. okay and here it is 12 30 so make it subtract now here you don't have anything in the minute so one hour will be borrowed from here and one hour means how many minutes it is 60 minutes so 60 minus 30 60 minus 30 will be equal to 30 okay now 30 here and it has given one so it will become 4 so 14 minus 12 2 so what is the difference between two times? 2 hour and 30 minutes. This is the conjecture. Okay. That the next term. Next term is equal to previous term minus 2 hours and 30 minutes. This is the conjecture. So if we follow this conjecture, this pattern, then what will be the next term? Next term will be 
टेन माइनस टू आवर्स एंड थर्टी मिनट्स सो सब्ट्रैक्ट इट अगेन यू विल बोरो वन आवर हेयर सो इट विल बिकम सिक्सटी मिनट सो सिक्सटी माइनस थर्टी बिकम्स थर्टी एंड देन फ्रॉम टेन वी हैव गिवेन वन सो इट विल बिकम नाइन नाइन माइनस टू विल बी सेवन थर्टी सो वॉट विल बी द टाइम हेयर सेवन थर्टी ए एम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स बी केयरफुल विद द टाइम ऑल्सो ओके मे बी इन एग्जाम दे कैन से सेवन आवर थर्टी मिनट्स पी एम just to confuse you okay so make sure that you are observing this also okay so answer will be 7:30 am okay now next is percent humidity it is 100% 93% 87% so again it is in decreasing order okay now what you can see here from 100 to 93 it is minus 7 from 93 to 87 minus 7 so what conjecture here we are following every term is decreased by 7 than the previous term so if you subtract 7 from 87 then what you will get 80% so what will be the next term next term will be 80% okay now next pattern see you can have some questions for figure also now you can see these three questions are given these three figures are given so this shaded portion is moving in a certain direction so what you can see it is moving in anti clockwise direction or counter clockwise direction so it is coming here again it is moving in counter clockwise direction so it is reaching here so it will again move in counter clockwise direction so it will reach here so what is the conjecture here conjecture can be shaded portion is moving shaded region is moving in clock or oh sorry counter clockwise counter clockwise direction okay this is the conjecture here okay see how easily you can understand the question if you are little vigilant with the questions now another question of the same type can be that again this is given as the figure here so what we can do here that see first how many columns are given 1 2 3 4 four columns are given after that only one two and three columns are given and after that two columns are given it means every term in every figure one column is removed okay so what you will do here in every table or next table whatever you want you can write every next table one column is removed one column is removed so what you will do here again in the next uh, for the next table you will remove one column like this will be removed so what you will get you will get only one column okay now what is the next question for this make the conjecture of the statement the product of two odd numbers and what i told you for this for this you need to find the counter example if you say that this statement is false or we want to find the result okay so see product of two odd numbers to uh, just consider few examples say for example 3 multiply 5 it is equal to 15 1 multiply 7 is equal to 7 3 multiply 9 27 so what you can see here whenever you are multiplying two odd numbers then it is always an odd number okay so what result we can write here the product of the product of two odd numbers the product of two odd numbers is always an odd number okay like this my dear students you can practice for these questions and i am sure you have understood all the questions what i have explained don't miss my all videos in my channel where i make the playlist for grade 9 advance uae term 3 okay because i will upload the videos question wise and if you think that such videos will help you to score good marks in your exam please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends also thank you